Joining us is Dr. Dwayne Elmore, Wildlife Extension Specialist. Dwayne, a problem we tend to see, especially as the summer warms up, is some armadillo damage in the landscape. Tell me a bit about this animal. Uh, well, they feed on uh, soil-borne insects. They eat a lot of grubs uh, and other things that are shallow in the soil column. And typically in the summer when it gets really hot and dry, but we're irrigating our lawns, they like to come into those areas because the insects are going to be closer to the soil surface and the ground is easy for them to dig in. So that's typically when we get the most complaints is June through August. What does the damage of their foraging behavior do to the landscape? They're a pretty aggressive digger. Mm -hmm. You know, as you can see here, they typically uh, dig, uh, kind of, I, 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 a lot of times it kind of looks like a triangle. They'll dig with both uh, front feet and kind of kick out to the side and often there'll be soil pushed out uh, pretty far from the hole Squirrel and uh, skunk damage can look similar, but generally squirrel and skunk are not quite as aggressive a digger as armadillo, but okay. there is overlap. I mean, sometimes it's really difficult to tell, but um, there's usually so several of these pocket marks throughout the landscape. And also, um, they'll not only dig in mulched areas, but a lot, a lot of times, you know, the armadillo damage will actually be in your turf in Bermuda lawns. Okay, and they're just simply looking for some insects That's to right. feed on. Yep. Now when it comes to managing these, there aren't um, poisons or any, that's not an option for armadillos? No, uh, there's no registered toxicants or mm -hmm. repellents that have been shown to work. Uh, some people try to use soil insecticides to mm -hmm. kill all the insects that they're feeding on, but I, I would recommend trapping uh, as the option. They're really easy to trap and rather than killing a lot of things in the soil, many of which might be beneficial, right. uh, just to get one armadillo, it's much easier just to trap that one armadillo. Okay, so when it comes to trapping, we're using one of these large metal traps. Yeah, you want to use the big, uh, like the raccoon size mm -hmm. life catch trap, um, and they, I think that's like an 11 inch opening, but uh, you know, not the little skunk size, that's too small. Okay. And the trick here is we want to funnel the animal into the trap. They, uh, they do not a need to be baited at all. Okay. Uh, they have very poor eyesight and they tend to, when they hit an obstruction, they tend to follow it. So like this wall here mm -hmm. is a good obstacle. So if we had a lot of damage in this area of the garden, we could use this wall as an obstacle. When they hit that, they're probably gonna follow it. And ideally we would, you know, run a two before or something else out at a 45 degree angle to okay. try to make a broad net, so to speak. To when they hit one of those walls, they'll just walk right, walk right into the right trap. And <laughs> this is a, a single opening, but you can get a double open trap, so you can get them from both directions. Okay. Well, now what happens once we trap the animal? What do we do with them? Well, uh, legally, you're not supposed to move them and release them somewhere else. Okay. You know, there's regulations about moving wild animals, so uh, legally, the, the thing you're supposed to do is dispatch them, and uh, a 22 uh, at, the, at the base of the neck, where it joins the body, is humane. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can call a wildlife control operator. Right. You can get a list of those off ODWC's website mm -hmm. and they can help you. Okay, and then one last issue, uh, armadillos do carry leprosy, so we want to be Correct. careful of that. Yeah. They're a carrier of leprosy, the only other mammal we know of that, that carries that disease. It's very low probability you're going to uh, come in contact with a, a leprosy infected animal, but just to be on the safe side, I would recommend wearing gloves when you're handling a trap or an armadillo, uh, and also if you're in the garden cleaning up damage like this, mm -hmm. uh, I would put gloves on, just, just to be on the safe side. Okay, well thank you so much, Dwayne. Well